Let me tell you about the birds and the beasts, the eagles and the bears to be exact, as they fight it out next on Quiz Kids. It's the Bay Area Quiz Kids. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. I thought that was pretty clever. I don't know. I thought that was pretty clever. We do have these great teams here. Let me introduce them over here. The Menlo Atherton Bears. <laughs> and representing the avian species, the Harker Eagles. <laughs> Welcome back, teams. Let's start out with the three for all. I will throw in a five-point toss-up question. The first team to answer correctly gets the control of the board. Good luck to both teams. Here's your first question. The answers are Atlanta, Richmond, or Savannah. Abraham Lincoln's re-election was secured when which city fell to Yes, Nikhil? Atlanta. Correct. The Union forces that occupied Atlanta were led by which Ohio general who promised to make Georgia howl during his march to the sea? Sherman. Sure, right. Which Confederate general, the namesake of a fort near Waco, Texas, led the Army of Tennessee north to Nashville after the fall of Atlanta? I think it's like Jackson, maybe. Stonewall? No. Stonewall? I don't know. Jackson. 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 No, it was Hood. John Bell Hood. Hood. John Stuart Mill, John Locke, or Karl Marx? Go ahead, Sachin. Philosophers? No. Oh, no. He was known for his materialist theory of history, whose works sometimes included collaborations with Friedrich Engels. Marx. 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 Karl Marx. Correct. There is a specter haunting Europe, begins which 1848 manifesto in which Marx and Engels outlined the political platform? <coughs> Communist manifesto. Correct. Engels edited what unfinished multi-volume work of Marx, which claimed that even an ideal capitalist society was filled with irrepressible contradictions? Um, I got nothing. Das Kapital. Das Kapital. You got 25 points. <laughs> so, Harker, you understand the answer of the first question will be one of the three answers I give you. And the three answers for this question are red tape, blue ribbon, or great seal. Originally, it was meant to mark the most important documents for the king's consideration, Jack. Great seal? No. What has since become a term for excessive bureaucracy? Red, red, tape. red tape. Right. Which communist leader's sayings were published in his little red book? Yeah. Mao. Mao Zedong. Correct. The red book is the standard for what form of digital audio? I don't know. What, what do you mean? Book? Right. Music. It Audio is book. the compact disc, the CD. Oh, okay. Maggots, caterpillars, grubs. What was in the lunch of the Quiz Kids? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> what do we call the larva of dipterous insects such as flies? Sachin. Maggots. Right. Different insects' larval stages have different names. What mythological creatures share a name with dragonfly larva? Dragon. Hydra. Oh, like, oh, Hydra. Hydra. Nymph. Oh. Nymph. Hmm. Algeria, Tunisia, or Morocco. Ceuta is a Spanish enclave in the north coast of Africa. Yes, Sachin. Morocco. Right. The islands of Europa and Juan de Nova, currently controlled by France, are also claimed by what large island nation off Africa's southeastern coast? Madagascar. Yeah. Madagascar. Yeah. Correct. Several neighboring countries contest the boundaries of this African nation's Caprivi Strip in the Okavango region. Niger? Niger? No, it's Namibia. Gnostic, Platonic, or Pythagorean? In spatial geometry, there are five kinds of polyhedra whose faces are congruent regular polygons. What name is given to these regular solids? <coughs> Stephanie? Platonic? Correct. Which regular polygons make up the 20 faces of the icosahedron, the most complex of the five platonic solids? Triangle. triangle. Right. All the platonic solids have what Euler characteristic, which is the number of vertices plus number of faces minus number of edges? Your answer? No answer. Two. Oh, okay. Impose tariffs nullify federal laws, or establish taxes. The second of the Kentucky resolutions insisted that states, <coughs> yes, Spencer. Nullify taxes? Um, no, I'm sorry, uh, no. Uh, states could do what? Nullify federal laws. Right. 
One of the targets of the Kentucky resolution was which act that made it a crime to publish false, scandalous, and malicious writing against government? Oh, it's one of them. Sedition. Sedition Act? That's right. Which sitting vice president drafted the Kentucky resolutions before he became president in 1801? Jefferson. Jefferson? You got 25 points. Copper sulfate, cobalt chloride, or iron pyrite. Which lustrous mineral is known as fool's gold? <laughs> Stephanie. Iron pyrite. Right. Pyrite is composed of iron and which non-metal known in the Bible as brimstone? Oh, sulfur. Okay. Okay. Sulfur? That's correct. Pyrite forms what kind of crystal structure also seen in sodium chloride, which can be simple, body-centered, or face-centered? It's, it's cu cubic. Cuboidal? Yeah, cubic. That is right for 25 points. That is the end of the round. 25 for Menlo Atherton, 95 for Hartcock. We'll be right back to meet the team. And now it's time to meet the Quiz Kids. Once again, here's Brad. Welcome back. You know, I'm realizing your schools and my school, we all take part in the San Jose Stage Honors Program. So, M.A., will you please say hi to Hannah Bergeron, who just starred in your production of Legally Blonde? Mm -hmm. And Jake Solomon, you're about to graduate. Yes, I am. I remember when you started here, you were just only this big. And now, <laughs> look at you. And your parents are giving you an amazing graduation present. What is that? Yes, we're going to uh, Europe for two weeks. We're going to take a cruise. We're going to go see Italy. And... Um, I'm excited because I took an art history class. I get to study all the art and architecture. Exactly. Now you can look bored when you're walking through Florence and Rome. You know, I've like, seen oh that, gosh, yeah. I've seen that. I know all about yeah. that. Spencer Murphy, you are waiting to hear about some summer internships that you try out for. What, what, what is the uh, subject of your summer? Uh, biomedicine. Uh -huh. And I applied to three, two of which are at Stanford and the other one's at UCSF. So I'm just waiting right now. So if you could say in two words something that these people could get from you so that you can get, you know, this is your chance. Tell them, Spencer, what, do you, what can you give any of these programs in two words? Fun and awesome. Fun and awesome. Yeah. The thing I think about most for biomedicine, too. So good. <laughs> Jack Donahue, you're currently in your tennis season. Yep. Playing, do you do doubles or singles? Uh, or doubles. Okay, how's yeah. it going for you? Uh, fine. I'm like middle of the varsity-ish. I'm not really a starter, though. So. Good. Yeah. All right, well, uh, I'm, th I'm enthused. All right, <laughs> good. Here's a chance for you guys to get up there by Harker's score, by picking one of today's categories. I'll give you seven questions. Give me all seven answers. You'll get 10 points per question. And I'll throw you throw in a 30-point bonus. Today's categories are, hey, mon, parts is parts, and Irish eyes. I think we'll do hey, mon. Hey, mon. <laughs> I'm going to describe these things that begin with M-O-N. They begin with M-O-N. The UK and the Netherlands are constitutional these. Monarchies. Right. In Italian, they call it La Gioconda. You better know this, Jake. Oh, Mona Lisa. Yeah, you better know this, Jake. Yes. <laughs> of course, it's in France, but what do you know? <laughs> Frankenstein's reanimated man was one of these. Monster. That's right. Followers of the rule of St. Benedict might live in one of these. Monasteries. Correct. He founded Domino's Pizza. Monomichi. No, it's Tom Monahan. He's the painter known for his paintings of black lines with red, blue, and yellow rectangles. Our history, our history. Uh, Monet. No, I'm sorry, it's Piet Mondrian. Uh, and finally, he's the impressionist known for his water lilies. There we go. Monet. There you go with the Monet. You got five right for 75 points. Turning to the Harker Eagles, would you please say hello to Miss Kathy Snyder, who is the musical director of your upcoming production of Oklahoma, okay? See how we're small communities and we all love each other? All right. Sachin Vadodarian. <laughs> I really blew that, did I? That's say fine. it. Vadodaria. Vadodaria, yeah. Sasho. <laughs> Sachin. Yeah. You are going to be taking, or you already took. Already took, yeah. Already took a yeah. trip with your family, extended family, cousins too, around the United States. And Small world story. Yeah, so uh, me, my family, and one of my cousin's family, we went to uh, D.C., New York, upstate, and NYC, and Las Vegas. And actually, while we were visiting uh, Niagara Falls, 
my cousin from India and met one of his high school friends from India there. So Just at Niagara Falls. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? That's cool. Stephanie Chen, uh, you did an internship last summer. Yeah. <clears throat> um, very, very important. Researching oh. planet colors. Yeah, so we found that basically planets, like they, they always like have these artist depictions and they're always like really cool colors, like glowing white with tons of stripes and stuff. But mostly they're just kind of, they, we, we found that a lot of planets tend to be blue and purple actually, mm -hmm. which was kind of interesting. So yeah. essentially you are destroying the artistic veracity <laughs> of every picture of planets we've ever seen. Yes. Congratulations. Yeah. And they're planets that nobody's ever seen with the naked eye because they're outside our galaxy. Yeah. Excellent. Nikhil, Dilip, you went to New York City last summer? Uh, no, it was a few summers ago. A few summers ago. Exciting adventure for you. Uh, yeah, so uh, we visited the Empire State Building, That's and there was a blackout at the time, and we were stuck in the elevator for an hour or two. An hour or two in the elevator at the Empire State Building. Yeah. Isn't that frustrating? Experience. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Definitely. up or down, you don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, this guy, the travel adventures, you guys, are very exciting. We're going to give you a chance to increase your lead by picking one of the remaining two categories. Parts is parts or Irish eyes? Parts is parts. Parts is parts. This is all about body parts. A couple of shows ago we did cannibalism. Now we're going to continue with body parts. Which part or parts of the human body, fill in that answer, okay? Which part of the human body was taken from Adam to make Eve? Rib. A rib. We're gonna go with the captain, right? Yeah. Just yeah. do that. Yeah, right. uh, which part of the uh, human body was vulnerable on Achilles? Heel. Heel? Correct. Uh, which part is, in French, la tête? The head. That's correct. Which parts of the human body are also known as digits? Fingers. Fingers. That is right. Uh, which part of the body is affected by Addison's disease? I don't know that. Just, I wanna say that. Give me a round Head. The brain. No, it's the adrenal glands. Okay. Which uh, part of the body contains the trapezoid bone? The, <laughs> the hip. No, it's the wrist. And finally, okay. which part of the body is examined by an otoscope? Oh, it's a st the stomach? No, it's the oh. ear. But you got four correct. You have 135 points. We'll be right back with more Quiz Kids. Bye-bye. And now we're back with the second half of Quiz Kids. Take it away, Brad. Please join me for uh, a big round of applause to both of the coaches of the teams from Menlo Athletic to Miss Sue Caton. <laughs> and from the Harker School, Mr. Bradley Stoll. Thank you, coaches, so much. All right, teams are going to go back to the three for all, but I'm going to raise the point values. Toss-ups are 10 points. The subsequent questions are worth 25 or even 50 points. So it could be anyone's game. Good luck to both teams. Here's the first toss-up. Goneril, Regan, Cordelia. In the Shakespeare tragedy, King Lear disinherits <laughs> Sachin. Cordelia. That's right. Lear was a king of what country? Is it in Britain? I think it's just Britain. Oh, yeah. Britain? That is right. Okay. <laughs> Lear's most quoted line claims that a thankless child is sharper than this object. I've never read King Lear. Did you say a knife? A knife? How sharper than a serpent's tooth oh, is a no. thankless <laughs> child. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yes, Catherine Hepburn did not play King Lear ever, but anyway. <laughs> Arm, head, or leg. Protesters often wear brazards. On what part of the body are they just... Yes, Stephanie. Arm. Right. If you're in a marching band, your uniform might include what classic shoe accessory Tassel. that covers the instep and ankle? Tassel. Tassel. No, spats. The bobcat, the coyote, or the mountain lion. They've been spotted in the Presidio and Golden Gate Park. <laughs> yes, Jake. Mountain lion? No. Which animal sometimes is referred to as the American jackal? No, it's coyote. No. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Coyote? That is right. Okay. Beep beep. <laughs> beep beep. In the cartoons, who always gets away from <laughs> Wild E. Coyote? Oh, 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 oh the Roadrunner. Road 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 That's right. Yeah. The cactus wren, not the roadrunner, is the state bird of what desert state? Arizona. 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 You got 50 points. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago, London, New York. 
It's among the busiest in the world. Which city's airport has the... <laughs> Jack, London? No. Which city's airport has the abbreviation ORD? It's Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Chicago? Right. Yeah. The letters I mean, ORD I mean, don't mean O'Hare, but rather refer to the airport's yeah. original name. What was the, uh, that original name? A place you might associate with fruit trees. Orchard. Orchard? Yes. <laughs> you might fly out of O'Hare to visit Orchard Road, the preeminent shopping street in what Southeast Asian city state? Singapore. Singapore? Oh, yeah. That is right for 50 yeah. points. Yeah. <laughs> Boer War, World War I, or World War II. During what war did the British Royal House take the name Windsor to replace the German name of Sax? <laughs> yes, World Nikhil. War I. That is right. The name Saxe Coburg came from Prince Albert, consort to what 19th century monarch? Victoria. Queen Victoria? Right. Saxe Coburg was originally a state of what entity that, according to Voltaire, had none of its three namesake qualities? Oh, Holy Roman Empire. Oh, Holy uh, Roman Empire? You got it for 50 yeah. points. <laughs> the Pantheon, the Colosseum, or St. Peter's Basilica. Which Roman building still holds the record for the largest unreinforced concrete dome? <laughs> Sachin. Colosseum? No, you can steal. The Pantheon. Correct. The pan in Pantheon means all. The Pantheon was originally dedicated to all what? Roman gods. Yeah, all Roman <coughs> gods. That's correct. In 1995, the bodies of Pierre and Marie Curie were reburied in the crypt of the Pantheon in what other European capital? Paris. That is right for 50 points. Holly Smoot, McCain Feingold, or Payne Aldrich. Which of these acts of Congress is not a tariff? <laughs> Nikhil. McCain Feingold. Correct. In his 1791 report on manufacturers, which first Treasury Secretary proposed a plan to use protective tariffs to promote rapid industrialization? Hamilton. Hamilton. That's right. The McCain Feingold bill was not a tariff, but instead dealt with what same subject as the controversial Citizens United ruling? Corporations. Corporations. Corporations? No, campaign finance. A volcano, a gladiator, or a lion? They're all terrible ways to go. <laughs> but which one killed Pliny the Elder? Nikhil. A volcano. Yes. Which volcano did him in? Vesuvius. Correct. Pliny's name is immortalized in volcanology. One ultra Plinian eruption was the 1883 destruction of what Indonesian what? island? Was, no, the island. No. Oh. No, not Java. Uh, I don't know. Java? No, it's Krakatoa. Yeah. Was it, was it Krakatoa? Yeah. Damascus, yeah, yeah, yeah. Istanbul, or Kabul. In 1776, what city became the capital of Afghanistan? <laughs> Sachin. Kabul. Right. Hamid Karzai recently accused the U.S. of um, collaborating with what Islamic group? The Taliban. 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 Yeah. The Taliban. The Taliban is right. In the <laughs> Afghan language Pashto, what is the meaning of the word Taliban? Oh, it's like, I feel like it's like brotherhood or something, I don't know. Brotherhood? Students. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Cobalt blue, Prussian blue, or Egyptian blue. First created in 1706, which is said to be the first modern synthetic pigment? Yes, Nikhil. Prussian blue. Right. Prussian blue became a key ingredient in what document copying process whose name is still used to refer to an architectural design? Blueprint. Oh, blueprint? Uh, right. Nice. Nice. Prussian blue is a compound composed of ions of iron, and what other ion that's often found in the plots of murder mysteries? Oh, cyanide. 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 That is right for 50 points. <laughs> that is the end of the round. 125 for MA. Parker has 445. We'll be right back. Will one or both of these teams make it to the top five? We'll find out. But first, let's see who's going to win this game as we put three minutes on the clock. The point value for each question is 30 points. Good luck to both teams. Here we go. The English one was written in 1689. What set? Yes, Jake. English Bill of Rights. Correct. Although we think of them as the ultimate pampered pet, what breed of dog was originally trained to... Yes, Sachin. Chihuahua? No. Was originally trained to retrieve fallen birds from swamps and marshes. Poodle. The poodle is right. What son of Pippin the Short was crowned by Pope Leo III on Christmas Day in the year 800? Nikhil. Charlemagne. Correct. Mm -hmm. Among elements, the strongest reduction potential belongs to which alkali metal whose name? Yes, Sachin. 
Sodium? No. Whose name comes from the Greek for stone? Cesium? Cesium? Lithium. What note sent to Ambassador Heinrich von Eckhart in 1917 by the German Foreign Secretary proposed that Mexico yesterday? Zimmerman. That's right. Which pear-shaped organ, whose contents are emptied into the duodenum, stores the fat emulsifying, yes, Spencer? Pancreas? No, stores the fat emulsifying mixture known as bile. Liver. Gallbladder? Correct. Oh, Spanish gall novelist gall Miguel Cervantes fought at what decisive 1571 naval battle where the Venetians halted the Turkish threat? Lepanto. Ilocano, Cebuano, and Tagalog are languages spoken in what former, yes, Nikhil? The Philippines? Correct. In computing what data structure used to evaluate post-fix expressions will have its two most recently pushed operands popped off when an operator is yes, Sachin. Stack. Right. In July 4th, 1863, John C. Pemberton surrendered to Ulysses S. Grant what besieged Confederate city that controlled yes, Jack? Vicksburg. Correct. What city name means sheltered bay, I'm sorry, what city whose name means sheltered bay became the capital of an island kingdom in 1845, 114 years after, before it became the capital of the 50th state? Yes, Stephanie. Honolulu. Right. Jamestown is the capital of what British overseas territory that is the site of Longwood House, which from 1815 to 1821 was Napoleon's home in exile? Jake. Elba. No, you can steal. Polina. Uh, uh, yes, St. Helena sorry. is right. <laughs> what kind of circuit component stores energy in electric fields in a dielectric material between plates that have accumulated Stephanie? Capacitor. Correct. Which railroad tycoon hired James Mybridge to prove that a racehorse momentarily has all four feet in the air when it gallops? Spencer. Vanderbilt? No, you can steal. Stanford? Yeah. Stanford? Correct. Yeah. The line of deceased candy plant is said to have been the inspiration for the famous chocolate factory scene in which 19... Yes, Jake. I love Lucy. That is right. A tough competitor might euphemistically go for them. What is the name of the two large veins that carry blood, Jack? Jugular. The jugular is correct. And that is the end of the game. 685 to 305. It's Harker's win. Thank you both teams for coming back to play. We'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.